welcome students hope you all are doing well today we are going to start a new chapter the name of the chapter is india and economic planning so let's begin in 1938 national planning committee was formed under the leadership of jawaharlal nehru it was followed by bombay plan prepared by a group of industrialists who assembled in bombay for the economic development of india the people's plan prepared by the renowned social activist m n roy also helped in shaping india's planning the first industrial policy formulated in independent india strengthened economic development through planning the father of indian planning m bisweserai who authored the famous planned economic for india in 1934 gave clear direction to economic planning the indian cabinet which met in 15th march 1950 passed a resolution to establish the planning commission of india the objectives of economic planning are decided on the basis of the needs of the society objectives of economic planning in india planning modernization growth equality self reliance now let us examine these objectives of planning growth economic growth indicates the increase in output of goods and services produced in the country economic growth is measured on the basis of the growth in output in primary secondary and tertiary sectors increase in output in agriculture and industry improvement in transport and communication facilities increase in hospitals educational institutions commercial establishments energy production export etc contribute to economic growth economic growth is an important objective of economic planning as it contributes to national progress modernization modernization is not only using latest technology but also making a change in the perception of the society modernization involves protection of women's rights social security and openness to social changes developments in machinery and technology have led to increase in productivity and simplification of manual labor modernization is making use of the latest technology modernization has improved the pace of travel and movement of goods it has brought economic progress and saving of time modern means of communication improve the living conditions and security and bring government services close to the people without delay self reliance the aim of self reliance is to attain self sufficiency in agriculture industrial and service sectors using the available resources and to avoid foreign dependence self reliance in the development of basic industries and energy will help the economic growth of the nation equity the objective of equity will be attained when all citizens receive basic necessities of life such as food clothing shelter education drinking water health protection and righteous distribution of wealth ensuring equity is essential for the people to benefit the fruits of growth modernization and self reliance hope you all understood what we learned today we will meet in the next class with the rest of the topics thank you